Howdy my totally is always tubular gamers and we're back with you guessed it another ranking video and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Today we're going to be talking about Five Nights at Freddy's and normally when I rank a series you know I rank all the games based on their quality and how I feel about them etc but today I thought we would rank these games based on how scary they are. You know after recently seeing the FNAF movie and quite enjoying it I really was like man I want to talk some FNAF on the channel and I don't know when that next game is coming out so let's rank these games based on just how scary they are you know these are all horror games and I'll just immediately say horror is very subjective what you find scary what I find scary what someone down the street finds scary it's totally different it is incredibly subjective there's no right answer there's no wrong answer it is different for every person the only thing more subjective probably is music and I'm sure there are plenty of people who don't think any of these games are scary. They just have goofy animatronics and cheap jump scares. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you feel that way, let me know down below. But that's not how I feel. All of these games, I think, are scary to some degree. I've had the shit scared out of me by every single one of these games at some point. I'm not afraid to admit it. I get startled rather easily. And sometimes I operate like a tweaker. Now when it comes to ranking these games from least scary or not scary at all to absolutely terrifying, I do have some criteria, you know, how's the tension, how's the atmosphere, how are the jump scares themselves, how unsettling is the game, the environment, the visuals, the animation all play a part of it, how's the sound design, how are the animatronics themselves, and of course the general vibes. I will just say this is totally my opinion, I don't think anyone's list is going to be the same, but I'd love to know your opinions, your list, if I should do any other ranking videos in this style, just let me know something. And just to be overly clear here, we're really just looking at the horror factor here, we're not really looking so much at the game's quality, like how scary are these games? But I think I've made myself clear, I'm also not looking at the spin-offs or phone games, we're really just looking at the mainline games, so as always, please like, share, comment, subscribe, we got the super thanks and Patreon, any support really is truly greatly appreciated, thank you very much. Let's get into it, of these games, which do I think is the least scary? I don't think it should come as much of a surprise that I think the least scary FNAF game is Ultimate Custom Night. Ultimate Custom Night, as the title implies, is totally customizable, you can make this a really breezy night where like nothing attacks you, or you can make it just go absolutely nuts where you just get bombarded by tons of animatronics with a bazillion gameplay mechanics going on okay maybe not a bazillion but a lot of different gameplay mechanics going on to the point where you're just completely overwhelmed sure i did get startled a few times from this game but there was just so much going on especially when i turned on a bunch of the animatronics that i just didn't even really find it scary and more so funny like i feel like this is what boomers might think video games look like where there's just a bunch of shit going on and it really just feels like sensory overload where, you're, again, you're just bombarded with mechanics. You know, when it comes to the jump scares themselves, there's some new ones here. And I don't think they're all that scary. There's definitely no tension here. And the atmosphere is virtually non-existent. The environment, it really is just kind of there. And then the game just has a bunch of weird voice acting and cutscenes and... Yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of laughing at how much shit you could have thrown at you at once and just how many weird mechanics there are. I, I just always have had trouble taking this game super seriously. And because of that, I haven't really been scared by much. Startled a few times, sure, but scared, not really. And so here we have Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Now, I know over the years a lot of people have called this game underrated and overhated, but I just have never been big on this game. And not just from a gameplay perspective, but from a horror standpoint as well, I just didn't find this game anywhere near as scary as the previous two games. You know, the main scare here is Springtrap, and I don't know, I just never found him crazy scary. And I'll just immediately say his design and jump scares, I never found all that scary. His design is cool, but I don't know, I wasn't personally terrified by it. And his jump scares aren't that good. Most of the time he just kind of shows up on screen. He doesn't lunge at you or shake the screen or anything. He just shows up. So while he's not that scary, we do have the Phantom animatronics, and I think these are a little scarier. They do have scarier designs, and the way they jump at you, it startles you, that's for sure. Am I supposed to be <laughs> and the sound they make, yeah, it's gotten me a few times. Speaking of sound, you know, the sound design in this game, I never thought it was all that strong. It's just kind of there. It didn't really haunt me like some of the other games did. I'd say what stuck with me the most is the environment, like it is memorable and it really does look like shit, this place looks terrible and you know it makes sense with the lore and speaking of the lore I think the storytelling is solid in this game, it's the best part of FNAF 3 but as a horror game yeah I don't think this game has the atmosphere, tension, jump scares, design, sound effects or visuals to really scare you beyond a few times and it just kind of gets annoying by the end of it but maybe that's a hot take. Pizza? 
And here we have FNAF Security Breach. Now, Security Breach, in terms of quality, I won't lie to you, it is a little disappointing. This game should be way higher on the list, especially since it's a lot longer than these other games. But in terms of how scary Security Breach is, yeah, I didn't find it the scariest. Look, when it comes to the story and the atmosphere, I didn't find this scary at all. The game is much more goofy and generally lighthearted. I mean, to an extent, it's not since the animatronics are trying to kill you, but it kind of feels like this game was aimed at a younger audience. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just when it comes to how scary all these games are, I don't think this game is as scary. Like I mentioned, the atmosphere, it's not as scary. The music is really fun and goofy. And I think this game basically totally lacks tension. You know, when it comes to how many times this game scared me, it was very few. I can say the scariest part of this game, at least I feel, is when the moon chases you throughout the play structure and it's really dark. Other than that, there was maybe only a few other times I even got startled. I mean, I'll just be straight up. The jump scares in this game aren't great. A lot of the time, they just kind of are spinning around or going nuts, and the screen shakes, and it just doesn't feel anywhere near as visceral or scary as the other games. Like, it should be, but the art style and animation are just not as fear-inducing, if that makes any sense. Also, I'm probably just desensitized at this point. This is like the eighth game in the series. This game was also pretty glitchy, especially at release, and that was really disruptive to my experience in immersion breaking, not allowing me to get as into it as I wanted to, probably making me not as scared. There's also the DLC, but I haven't really messed around with the DLC, so I can't comment on that. But I don't know, the tension, atmosphere, story, and just the game in general did not hit the same as the other ones. I still like Security Breach, it's just when it comes to how scary it is, I didn't think it was all that scary. Your food, bitch. Damn! What you looking crazy for? Gregory, watch your language at the dinner table. And here we have Pizzeria Simulator. I'll just be up front, you know, this game is nowhere near scary when you're doing the mini games or running the business. The game doesn't try to be scary then. The game is much scarier at night especially when you start letting in more and more animatronics. You know, if you don't let any animatronics in, then yeah, it's not a scary game at all, but letting them in makes the game a hell of a lot more scary. Now, when it comes to the animatronics themselves, I think their designs are actually pretty terrifying. I mean, they're pretty destroyed and hideous, and yeah, they look scary, and the way they scare you, the jump scares in this game, I think they're scary. The sounds that they make are really good, and the way they shake the screen, it got me plenty of times. When it comes to the sounds, I think it's actually really solid in this game. The sound design is good, especially since it's such an integral part of the gameplay. You know, you're throwing the sounds all over to distract them, and sometimes the game throws in white noise or these fucking ads. And I think it helps add to the atmosphere and the tension. The atmosphere is pretty solid here. I mean, you're just in this shithole. And looking around you with the vents like these fucking dark holes. Yeah, I think it is decently scary. And the game got me plenty of times. And there was some tension here. I'm not going to say there was a lot compared to some of the other games. But yeah, I think this game does have some scares. I think the sound design's good. It's unsettling. And it got under my skin more than I'm willing to admit. I've always loved Pizzeria Simulator. When it comes to how scary all these games are, I wouldn't say it's one of the scariest, but it does get under your skin. And here we have Sister Location. Now, I've never been huge on Sister Location, but even I can recognize how scary this game is. Like, the game puts you in plenty of different scenarios that really are fear-inducing. You know, while most FNAF stick to one gameplay style, Sister Location has a couple different ones, and I think all of these are scary on different levels. Some of them are clearly scarier than others, but I was scared by every single scenario you were put in this game. Then the animatronics, not only from a design standpoint, but from a sound and jump scare standpoint, they're decently scary. In fact, some of the scariest moments in the whole series are right here in this game. Like, when you're walking around close to the ground, just looking at the ground and the ballerinas going around you. I always thought this ballerina shit was scary, like it just sends shivers down my spine and you have to do it more than once, I'm just, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. And then the animatronics actually talk to you and the voices are creepy and yeah, this game is a really unsettling, creepy atmosphere. The atmosphere is really solid in this game and then when you go home and watch TV and stuff, I don't know, it just, it all comes together in a really nice way. The atmosphere is very solid, the tension is totally there. The sound design in conjunction with the visuals create just a really tense atmosphere that none of the other games have in this way. And while I might not love the gameplay styles, the game startled the shit out of me. I can't deny that and I think it is a decently scary game. And here we have FNAF 2. While FNAF 2 is maybe my favorite game in the whole series, I wouldn't say it's the absolute scariest, but it does have plenty of scary moments and I've been getting the shit scared out of me for years with this one. 
When I think of getting scared in FNAF 2, really two things stick out to me. Looking down the dark ass hallway and seeing an animatronic, that's always scared me. But then the sound effects, like the sound design is really solid in this game with some truly terrifying sound effects that I can still easily recall nowadays. And I'm just like, well, I don't want to think about it. I think everything related to the sound is good and it helps build up the tension and atmosphere. This game has plenty of tension, especially on nights 4 and 5 when you're about to finish and shit just starts going crazy or even the secret night. And one reason the tension is so high is the animatronics, man. The animatronics are scary, especially the mangled messed up ones like shit. These are scary. These are way scarier than the toy ones. I never thought the toy ones were really scary. They just look kind of cute and goofy, but the mangled ones. Oh, yeah. No, they're not messing around. And then Balloon Boy, Balloon Boy's got me playing. Plenty of times I'm not afraid to admit it. He even got me in the movie like, ah, a creepy little white boy. But seriously, looking down this dark ass hallway, seeing this tall, messed up looking animatronic and hearing these scary ass noises and then throwing the Freddy mask on, like, yeah, I think it is scary. Another scary aspect is you can be looking on the cameras and basically get ripped off the cameras because the animatronic's right in your face and then you have to throw the Freddy mask on instantly like this. It totally caught me off guard the first couple times and startled me. Nowadays, you know, I know it's going to happen eventually and you just gotta throw the mask on immediately, but man, that shit is startling. This game is startling. Like FNAF 2, they weren't really messing around with this one. And here we have the original Five Nights at Freddy's, and I can't believe this game is almost 10 years old. And you know, this game, it's always going to hit different. There was nothing else like it at the time, and it really just absolutely came out of nowhere. Now, when it comes to how scary I think the original FNAF is, I think it totally holds up, and it's still one of the scariest games in the franchise. One of the reasons it's so scary is the way the game presents itself, the atmosphere. It's very normal. It seems like a real place. The animatronics seem like normal animatronics you'd go see at Chuck E. Cheese. It isn't some crazy, awful, scary, or cartoony looking animatronics that just absolutely want to maul you. No, they just look like normal animatronics. And I think that helps add to not only the atmosphere, but just the scary factor as well, because it is really jarring and unsettling when they actually do come to get you. And I think the jump scares in this game are still pretty good. You know, they just shake the screen and thrash about and make that iconic noise, but I don't know. I thought they were scary 10 years ago. I think they're scary now. Like they have just always gotten me. Additionally, when you're looking through the cameras, like the feed you actually have is very clear. You can easily see what's going on here. And when they start staring you down, dude, that shit is tense. Some of the other FNAF games, the camera feed is so shit and blurry. You just can barely even see anything. Not this one. It is really clear and crisp for the most part. You can see exactly what's happening. And when you look at the hallway and you see Foxy running down the hallway, dude, that will never not be scary. Like I'm just, I just go, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And you gotta close the door or just the constant pressure of using the lights in the door and your energy running low and then of course you know the energy runs out and then freddy's coming and it's like damn it's all ogre now wait wait wait, wait. just wait 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 wait, wait. But seriously, the tension, the atmosphere, the pressure from the energy, just how easy it is to understand the gameplay, the animatronics themselves, the sound design, the guy who talks to you over the phone, like it all just creates this really scary environment. And I feel like from FNAF 2 and on, they just took a very different approach when it comes to horror and never really went back to just looking normal or having this kind of simplicity. And that's why FNAF 1 is still as scary as it is. It's just really easy to understand and it's really easy to get startled and scared by it. And here we have FNAF 4. Now, it was a toss-up between this and my number one, but man, FNAF 4 is one of the scariest video games ever made. Like, from the moment I played it, from the moment I even saw what the game is, I was like, oh, this is going to be so scary. And yeah, this game is not messing around. This is really one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Like everything is scary about this game from the idea to the setting to the animatronics to the gameplay to the sound to really what's happening to this young child. It's all scary. It's one thing to be an adult security guard just sitting in some shitty office. It's another to be a small little child in your room like where your bed's right there. You're looking throughout your house. They're coming into your room to kill you. Like, the premise alone just makes this game one of the scariest games, like, ever. I don't know about you, but as a young child, I was kind of afraid of the dark. I was afraid of the unknown, thought monsters were going to come out of my closet or under my bed to get me. In this game, it really brought that fear back. Like, not only did it bring it back, but it made it so, so much worse to places that I didn't even think were possible. I'm so glad I did not play this as a kid. I'd be scarred.
shit, I'm even scared now. Now when it comes to the animatronics, these are some of the scariest animatronics the series has ever seen. From a design standpoint, they are just like cartoonishly horrifying with all this teeth ready to kill you, like they just look scary. But then, the way they animate, the way they move about, like it's also scary. They're unhinged as all hell and it, it's just terrifying. It's just terrifying. The movement, along with just the environment, it really creates a very tense atmosphere immediately. But what really sets this game off and just puts it above and beyond in terms of scary for me is just the gameplay. Looking out into the darkness, trying to hear the breathing to then flash your light, like this shit just absolutely scares me. Looking into the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen, maybe hearing the breathing, maybe not. Like this just strikes a nerve that none of the other games are able to strike. It just absolutely scares the bejesus out of me. I don't even know how else to describe it. Just the way the game is framed, how you like look at the ground, look into the darkness, run back. The breathing itself is scary. The fact that it's in your own fucking house, the presentation, like no. This game, it just all comes together to create just such a scary game that I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm just getting nightmares thinking about it. And it's not even, in my opinion, the scariest game. In my opinion, the scariest FNAF game is Help Wanted. If you don't include Help Wanted, it's easily FNAF 4, but if you have a VR headset and play Help Wanted, yeah, this is the scariest game by far. This is just straight anxiety simulator. Like, if you have high blood pressure or get scared crazy easily, I don't know if I could recommend this game. Like, this game is truly just scary as all fuck. The game really just recreates the first four games in VR with a couple tweaks here and there and a few little additions. And so low-key, it is the scariest by default since it is all four games, and I think FNAF 1 and 4 are particularly really scary, so it's like, okay, put them together in one game. Yeah, this is really scary. I can say if you're not playing this game in VR, it's not really that scary. Like, the atmosphere isn't there, the tension is nowhere near as high as the first couple games. The presentation and sound design, it just doesn't hit the same as it did in the previous games, but playing in VR, it absolutely makes up for all of that. Just the animatronics literally getting in your face like how they do, it it's too much, man. The game just goes out of its way to try to be as scary as possible. It really is just jump scare simulator. They just jump out at you. They shake everything. Like, I freaked the fuck out so many times playing this. Like, I... I'll be honest, I just had to stop. I really just had to stop. It was too much for me. Like, I felt the anxiety, I felt the pressure, and I just didn't want to get so fucking scared over and over and over. Like, the anxiety, the fact that they jump at you, it startled me, it surprised me every single time. It never failed to just surprise and scare the shit out of me. And it got to the point, honestly, where I just had to stop. I really just had to stop and play something else. Like, call me a little pussy, wussy. Little doo-doo head, little baby who wants his bottle or loser or whatever. No, I couldn't play this game. It was too much for my anxiety. Like, I'm an adult and this was just too much for me. It really was just too much for me. VR is, like, too good for FNAF. Like, this shit, it's just too real. Like, I don't even know how else to describe it. I just felt so on edge. I really felt like a tweaker pushed to his limits the entire time. There are very few games that have scared me this much. There's this game, FNAF 4 definitely had me on edge, like Silent Hill 3, Resident Evil 7. Not many games have me this on edge while playing, and, and I, I really just had to stop. And speaking of stopping, we're stopping the video, you know, hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down below your favorites, let me know what you think is the scariest game. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you made it to this part of the video, comment. Chica is in the animatronic, that's our code word that you made it to the end of the video. Again, nice little heart for me. Let me know how you feel about this video, if you want to see me do this style of video more often. It was kind of hard to describe just how scary these games were, but I think I did an adequate job. They're all scary to a degree, or maybe they're not scary to you at all. Either way, hope you have a wonderful day, see y'all later, Bye bye